Life on the Red Horse Ranch. <laughs> When we left Red Horse Ranch, Alabama and the boys had just discovered that Dewey Dawson was missing, and they're sure it was the work of the outlaws who were once members of Trigger Dawson's gang. Dawson, now dead, was supposed to be Dewey's father. While the boys ride out to find Dewey, they leave Arizona and Tex to watch things at the ranch. What do you mean, Donny? His name's Dewey. Dewey or Donny? I can't remember. Oh, what do you expect me to do, Cookie? Play tiddlywinks? Oh, yeah. <coughs> Law me, there's Dewey's dog. Where you come from, you hound dog, you? Gosh, that's Dewey's dog, all right. But Dewey ain't with him. I wonder what's happened to him. Oh, poor little puppy. Gosh, I better go up and tell Mr. Carter about the dog coming back. Oh, ma'am, you better find that boy. I don't know what. Stand you, dear. Oh, what a dream would be. A cozy little cottage beside the western sea. Oh, 
Arizona. Look what just wandered in, Mr. Carter. Why, it's Elizabeth, Dewey's dog. And Dewey was looking for him when he was lost. Where did you find the dog, Arizona? Yes. I didn't find him. He just wandered in. Oh, hello, I ain't Elizabeth. seen nothing to do it, though. Well, now you mark my words. There's something behind all this. It's a sure thing. It's the work of those outlaws. But doesn't it seem strange that men like that would want to get a hold of the boy? Well, what could their reason be, Dad? Well, we ought to hear something from Alabama and the boys. I know. They've been out looking for Dewey all the afternoon. Oh, Dad, look. The boys are coming back. I see them. That's him, all right. Is Dewey with them? Well, I I can't tell yet, but surely they found out something about him. Drop your horses, boys, up here. But Dewey isn't with them. Oh, Alabama, where's Dewey? I wish I knew, Rose. We've looked everywhere we can think of around here. Oh, the poor boy. Yes, and if I ever get my sights lined on the varmints that made off with them, they'll be eating hot lead. Come on up on the veranda, boys, and rest yourself a spell. Oh, Bob, have you still got that locket of Dewey's we found over there in the trees? Yeah, looks like there was a little scuffle. Must have accidentally pulled it off his neck. Well, I'll take care of it, Bob. Dewey thought an awful lot of that locket. All right, Rose. Arizona, for gosh sake, quit picking on that guitar. Well, a song wouldn't hurt at all, boys. No. Go ahead with one. Yeah. Take me back to peaceful. here long enough. Where we strike out for next, boys? Alabama, I think our next step is to ride over to Roaring River and see if we can find the outlaw gang's hideout. Well, it won't hurt none to find out. Come on, boys, let's do some more riding. Oh, good luck, Alabama. You've got to find him. Hey, we will wait a minute. Who's that riding up? Why? Well, as I someone? live and breathe, it's Steve Bradford. Steve Whoa. Bradford. Now, what do you suppose that rat's doing over here? I thought I told him to stay off of this ranch. Uh, hold on a minute. Uh, Idaho, uh, there's somebody with him. Why, uh, But that couldn't be... It why. is. It's Dewey. Oh, Steve Bradford's brought him home. Now, what do you reckon Bradford's doing with the kid? Oh, I don't know. Him. But... Howdy, fellas. I thought you might be looking for this youngster. Dewey. Come here, boy. Hey, he brought me back. Oh, there's a limp. Oh, it is, Dewey, and he's all right. Oh, Dewey, where have you been, honey? Just a minute. Bradford, 
You can start explaining now. Now, don't get excited, Mr. Carter. Go ahead. I thought you'd be mighty glad to get the boy home. We'll listen to your story, Bradford. Go ahead. <laughs> all right. I found this boy wandering around over on my bar D. Is that all you can think of to say, Bradford? Well, you can ask the boy. He'll tell you. Well, what about it, Dewey? You can tell us what happened. That's right, Ella Ben. I was looking for Elizabeth, and I thought I heard him bark down there in the trees. Yeah. So I went down there, and a couple of fellas grabbed me and made me get up on one of the horses. And then what? Then they took me over across the hill in the bar D and let me go. And then Bradford came and found me. Well, Alabama, is that enough? There's something funny about this. No, Alabama, he's right. Right. Well, I'm sorry for what I said, Bradford. We are grateful for your helping us find the boy. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Better not count on folks around here taking care of you after this young fella. Uh, well, I'll see you later, fellas. <laughs> well, can you beat that? Come on, fellas. Let's show Dewey yeah. we're glad he's home again. Start us off, Monty. Yeah. 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 tried to take you away? Well, no. Only they asked me where was my locket. Your locket? Yes. They said it was going to take it away from me. Well, and I looked and it was gone. I, I lost it. Why, Dewey, I have your locket. The boys found it down there by the tree. Oh, give it to me. Right. I guess it busted off when they grabbed me. But what could they want with a little locket like this? Rose, I figure that when we find that out, we are going to know what this whole thing's about. Well, it looks as though Dewey is going to be the center of interest for quite a while. Let's be sure to stay tuned to Red Horse Ranch. <laughs> 